Okay, well, uh, my name is Matias Sanchez Nieto. I'm from Eral Bravo Winery. We are placed in Mendoza province in Argentina, in the western part of Argentina, which is very close to Chile. Actually, we are in the foothills of the Antes Mountains. Uh, our vineyards are about uh, close to 3,500 feet high. So we, that's let us uh, produce uh, uh, wines with some complexity, very interesting complexity, very nice colors, very nice uh, uh, possibilities of, of, of faging the wines, uh, and very elegant. Um, well, my family has been involved in the wine business for more than 30 years. Uh, we used to have one of, one of the most important wineries in, in Argentina. We sold it just a few years ago to a very important group. Um, and now, because we've we always been in, related to this, we decided to develop uh, this new product, the Real Bravo product. Uh, we have just three years uh, selling our wines, but we are in about 15 markets in different countries, I mean, and here in the States we, we are covering, uh, in a short period, we are in about uh, 12 states. Uh, some of them, uh, like Ohio, we've been working for one year and a half, which was a surprise for us because the, the results has, have been really, uh, really good. We have our average uh, altitude in Mendoza, actually in Argentina as well, I think sh it should be the highest in the world uh, <coughs> because we have, um, uh, as I said, our vineyards are very high, but even in Salta in the very north are vineyards much, much higher at about uh, 2,000 meters or some more, which is about six uh, or 7,000 feet high. So they are really, uh, extreme those those we had extreme uh, uh, compared to other other locations um, we uh, produce different ranges in our winery we have the urano range uh, we are offering uh, malbec rosé malbec syrah and cabernet sauvignon and soon we'll have uh, some white wine either viognier or chardonnay or sauvignon blanc which are grapes that do, we, we produce ourselves. Then we have the Erales uh, range, which is a little higher in terms of segmentation and pricing. It's, uh, here we have a Malbec and a Cabernet Sauvignon. And above this Erales, uh, we have the YBS, we call it YBS because it's the, our dearest barrel selection. And uh, every year we select barrels and we, cho we choose the barrels that we think that uh, have the, the best potential to be more time, to, to keep more time the wines inside. So then we, we decide the best blend according to our opinion uh, to offer us something very, very special. Uh, it's been a very successful wine. The allocations are very, you know, it's not. It's tough for us to allocate in different markets, but it's uh, it's very very good for for our image and very good for uh, to to make understand that Argentina has all the capabilities to 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 show great wines. There are many wineries that are working very well, and I think the American consumers and the trade is uh, are realizing about this that we can get and we can offer great quality and at, at fair prices, not overpriced wines. So that's uh, an advantage that we, we, are, we have and um, the results are on the way because we are growing, Argentina, I mean, uh, is growing a lot in the American market. Uh, currently is the most important market and it's going to be, uh, it will continue growing for sure. So everybody's looking for the for, for United States. It's worth it to, to try our wines um, because they offer 
nice fruit nice very deep color you can see here what deep colors we we have very clean wines uh, very balanced wines in, in all senses in, in fruit with uh, with um, with the oak treatment with barrels but also nice acidity with a, a smooth wines but structure but a smooth wines very round tannins very ribbon uh, ribbon tannins so uh, we try to get complexity in our wines and uh, we need we want them to be very elegant so I think we've accomplished uh, that and we invite you all to to try them